Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome to Smashcast. I'm your host, the Retro Gaming Nerd. And I'm your co-host, the Archivist. We have a very important question for you. Where's, Where's the, fair the fair use? use? The reason why this comes up is because it's it's kind of, we're a little behind on this, but I still think it's relevant because nothing has changed yet. Um, this is still important. It yeah. still affects everybody on YouTube. Yeah. Now, let me talk legitly here. We are a really, 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 really non-existent YouTube channel. We've been here a while. And we've we've seen the... We've been here for a, a good amount of time. How long have we been here for? Roughly six years almost. Yeah, six to seven years. And we've been around for that long. And all the copyright claims we had, right? Yeah. Were legitimate. Because we used music... Not yeah. correctly. And most of our claims were correct. I don't think we've ever had a legit claim, and thank God we haven't, because that can literally end our whole career before it ever started. Definitely. We are not, like... What we're trying to bring up is we're trying to bring up this as two sides here. The bigger YouTubers and the smaller. The bigger ones are hit really hard, and it's actually a little harder than... I think it's a little harder than us, because all it does is get rid of our... Career and we can restart, but them restarting is just—it's hard. It would be very. It might as well being. I think uh, you know. I said it's worse. I think it's about equal because either way, you gotta having to pull yourself back up is not an easy process. So explain what's going on lately before we get into our how we feel. Well, what's been going on lately is that a lot of YouTubers, I hate everything. Another channel whose name escapes me. I'm terribly sorry. And the Nostalgia Critic... And many others. And many, many others have spoken out about the Fair Use Act, which is they, which we, they believe and we and agree. It is. And it's it's not, is. They, it's not that they believe. They are legitly being abused. This is being abused. Legitly. I, I mean, I know I'm sorry for interrupting you, but it's not just a thing that they believe. It is the thing that is happening. They have legit proof that this is happening. And it is messing with their... Livelihood yes, belief, right? Yes, yeah. it is. The thing is, is this because of the YouTube copyright strict system and the copyright, well, it claims systems, people are losing money. They are losing videos. Ch whole channels are disappearing. Here's why. Studios or pe copyright, or the people who initially made the copyrighted material are seeking out and taking down other YouTube, well, YouTubers. They are putting claims, they are going so far as to strike them, and the YouTube system does not allow YouTubers to fight back. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. It... You okay, have a see, chance you know what? You know what? I, I, hold on. You know, I was gonna say it does, but you're right, it doesn't, because the way it does is, there's no, I don't, if I remember correctly, because I know a few people that had this, there is no real way to fight back, because there's no one to really help you. You know? Yeah, there is no YouTube. There is nobody who you can call and like a text. Not center even call. It doesn't help. matter about calling. I'm talking about emailing. Cause yeah, if even they that. Get a, if they get an email, it's not going to return to you for what? Because they say YouTube will respond to you in months, but that's too late. Especially if you're making a job out of this. Yeah. And you know what? This thing has been altering people's making of. Like, it's been altering the way they make videos now, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, this is a reign of terror. <clears throat> I'm sorry if that sounds overdramatic, but this yeah, is a, it's a little overdramatic. But it's like this is ridiculous. Cause you know, uh, to come back down to earth, I think it is, as she said, a reign of terror. But I wouldn't go that far. I'd say it's more of a just an unfair, you know, mess. It is an injustice to people who are trying to make content on YouTube <laughs> and keep. You know, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. This is not right. Pe you know? And here's the thing. Most of these people are making really good content. You know? And I would believe fair content. Uh, you know? Yeah. And here's the thing. The thing... It's like lots of people who are getting... Are the, pe the wrong people are being attacked. Oh, yeah. Totally. Because here's the thing. These guys make legitimate content. They make... You know, reviews. Not everyone does this, but you know, they make reviews and they other make, things. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. They get striked, all right? Now, if I, I don't know Doug personally, but if I asked him, if I legitimately had a chance to ask him, hey, Doug, how long did, uh, how fast was it that you got your copyright strike? Probably like that. He'd probably tell me it was like lightning. You know, it happened in a few, it happened in a day. 
But we have we have movies, legit YouTube movies that are legitly uploaded illegally on YouTube that have been up for years. I repeat, years, and they probably have never gotten a strike. They have never gotten it taken down, and oh. that is ridiculous. It is ridiculous because these are uploading full movies, and most people are ignoring. This is like you know, Nostalgia Critic isn't stealing your money. All right, if anything, he's making you more money because thanks to Game Grumps, Nostalgia Critic. John Tron, Angry Video Game Nerd, Andre the Black Nerd, even Michelle Ivey, and many other people that I watch, you know, uh, not Matty Centaur, I'm sorry, I love you Matt, but you didn't help, but, you know, even like Game Theory, many other channels, I'm just name dropping now, but many other channels have got me to go check out a movie, to go see a movie, to buy a movie, to rent, to play video games, to get this video game, to get this kind of figure, to get this book, to, to check out you know, to check out what they advertise. This stuff gets me to go out and check it out. It got me to go check it out. It probably got her to go check it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there like, they're doing this to these people that are giving them pretty much, you know, free advertisement sometimes. Yeah. And I know somebody's going to go, it's technically not free. It kind of is, though. No. Because they're not getting paid by the company. They're doing it because whatever. There's some movies that I've made friends with, or there's some references, like Linkara and I believe Doug Walker uses um, M Mystery Science Theater 2000. Yeah. Yeah, they use references like that. I love that, by the way. Mm -hmm. But they use references like that in their video that made me make a lot of friends, you know. Exactly. It's like, these videos are powerful, and instead of embracing it, companies are shunning it. Yeah. In... You know, and it's just, this is a definite infringement on people's rights. It is, especially since, like, most of, once again, as I said before, most of these claims are not correct within, they are, I mean, most of these claims aren't right. No, they're not. Because a copyright holder ha can strike a strike or put a claim on a YouTube video. Unjustly. Yes, there could be very little evidence supporting their claim, but their word is taken as law. Which is... Kind of ridiculous, because it is a, a, a guilty until proven innocent. innocent, which is crazy, because that's not how it should be. There should be somebody or something that can dispute this faster. There should be some way that, there should be some repercussions for these people doing this too. Yeah. Because that is ridiculous, because what I didn't know is apparently they can take money from you even if it's not legitimate. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Who, dude, no, no. That is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Because, like, that's like, okay, that's like me, you know, that's like me going, it's like me going to court for stealing money from a guy, right? Yeah. And then the court just drops because the guy, you know, the court just drops, you know? Mm -hmm. I, and I keep the money, you know? I don't go to jail, I don't get anything, you know? I don't get a slap on the wrist. No, I just get to keep his money and he's poor. Yeah. He, I mean, he's still, you know. He doesn't get his money back. Mm hmm Which is what is happening to YouTubers. And I don't get justice either, you know, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is getting, this is out of hand. This is unacceptable. Like, and I mean, I'm not going to lie, this has been happening for a while. Of course it has. But, you know, it, it's just getting to a point where I'm like, because the thing is, once again, I'm not going to try to act all outraged, because this has never happened to me before. This has not happened to us. I'm not going to be the, woe is us, we've gotten this, this is the strike. No, we clearly never have gotten that. If we did, we would have been making a bigger fuss. And we can't even act like we've had this happen to us. Because it hasn't. But just because there's a potential of it. Because we make content... I, we make gaming content, legitly. And also comic book content. And we do have to alter things. I have to alter out the speech yeah. bubbles for her upcoming show. And I have to be careful of what footage and what game I use for some of my reviews. And some of this, actually. Legitly, this show is changed a lot because instead of showing pictures like I used to I'm freaking out because somebody might have some copyrighted you know picture that yeah. I, I might not be able to use so therefore we've just been sticking to our little chibis which you've probably been staring at for the last few whatever I'd recommend you know just just ignore just ignoring it I'll probably find some other way to do things but you know what I mean it's it's became that weird little freaky area now and it's sad that there's content creators that literally are afraid or wake up every day going, looks like I'm not going to get my check for a month. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dude, that's like you going into work, all right? Mm -hmm. And somebody falsely accusing you of, you know, doing something that you didn't. And, you know, I'm just making up shit here. So, you know, <laughs> in a world where you get paid immediately, you know, somebody accusing you of something that you clearly 
didn't do. didn't do. They withdraw your pay, and then your boss is just giving it to some everyone else, and you know. Yeah, what is are that you fair? supposed to do? Yeah. And yeah, it's not fair. Because people still, because see, people have to pay their bills, all right? Yeah. People have to eat, people have to do things, people, especially if you're a YouTube creator, you have to update your you have to up- film equipment all the time. And that stuff is expensive, especially coming from us that, you know. Yeah, you depend on paychecks, no matter what for. If you're making money, you probably need that money for something. Paying your actors, doing many things, so. And this, it's like having, basically robbing people of stuff that is legitimately theirs because they abided by the law, but is being taken down because people do not understand the law is Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's the thing you're not, that's the thing you're misunderstanding. They know the law. They know the law and they're blatantly... Ignoring it. Yeah. And that's worse. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, um, I don't know if this means anything to you guys, and it probably doesn't, but we are with you guys 100% by, behind you guys with this whole... We are all We're, YouTubers, and we gotta stick together. Yeah, I'm not. I know that sounds like a cheesy kids movie, but it is true. We gotta stick together, guys. We gotta believe in Santa Christ. Sorry, don't sue me, Doug. But um, <laughs> but no, I do believe that I am firm. I I do believe because I it's true. I am I am terrible at talking. This is why we shouldn't do this show. But um, I am firmly behind you. We as stupid Smash Bros, all of us, League of Extraordinary Gamers, to Fanmen, we are behind you because this is ridiculous. And, you know, if there's, if anyone's listening to this, you know, which there probably is some people, I would urge you to probably, you know, find some way to share this. Not this, but... Share this information. Learn about fair use. It's like, we all need to get this fixed. Because this is ridiculous. Because it can, because realistically, it can happen to anyone, especially if you're a small YouTuber that's under the whatever, you should be definitely, definitely looking into this, looking into sharing this, whatever, because unlike them, it's a lot harder for you. We know. So, once again, we have to ask this question that we started with. Where is the fair use? Where is it? All right, everybody, this has been Smashcast. I've been your host, Special Gaming Nerd. And I've been your co-host, The Archivist. Please share this. Have a good day. Bye.